In the reaction of sodium metal with chlorine gas, which of the following processes releases energy? A process releasing energy is the same thing as saying that the reaction is favorable and wants to take place. So in order to answer this question, we'll discuss the favorability of each reaction below. For the first reaction, we have diatomic chlorine transforming into two individual chlorine atoms. And if we think about the fact that chlorine wants to have a full octet, or eight valence electrons, we can see that being diatomic is favorable because that way both chlorine atoms have a full octet. To summarize, chlorine wants to be diatomic to have a full octet, so breaking up into two chlorine atoms is unfavorable, so this reaction does not release energy. Now we can move on to our second reaction where chlorine is taking an electron to become chloride. And this is also allowing chlorine to have a full octet. Chlorine is electronegative, so it makes sense that it wants to take in this electron. So because this reaction is favorable and leads to a more stable situation, this will release energy. This reaction is the answer to the problem statement. We can continue by looking at the reaction where sodium in a solid form becomes sodium in a gas form. Well, sodium in nature is found as a solid, so it's favorable to be in this state and this is where it's stable. And forming into a gas means that the electrons will be vibrating much more rapidly and it takes energy to achieve this state. So this will not be favorable. Instead, this reaction would require energy to occur. And lastly, we can look at the reaction where sodium as a gas gives up an electron. So that electron is being attracted to the positive charge of the nucleus. So in order to get rid of that electron, it takes energy. So this is not favorable. So the reaction that releases energy is the one where chlorine accepts an electron.